Hi and welcome to the session. Let us discuss the following question. Question says, in figure 6.62, two chords A, B and C, D of the circle intersect each other at point P outside the circle. Prove that triangle PAC is similar to triangle PDB and PA multiplied by PB is equal to PC multiplied by PD. This is the figure 6.62. Now let us start with the solution. Clearly we can see in the figure angle PAC plus angle BAC is equal to 180 degree as they form a linear pair. So we can write angle PAC plus angle BAC is equal to 180 degree. We also know that Sum of opposite angles of cyclic quadrilateral is 180 degree. Now clearly we can see CABD is a cyclic quadrilateral. So sum of angles BAC and angle BDC must be equal to 180 degree since they are opposite angles of this cyclic quadrilateral. So we can write angle BAC plus angle BDC is equal to 180 degree. Now, clearly we can see in these two expressions sum of both pairs of angles is equal to 180 degree. So, we can write angle PAC plus angle BAC is equal to angle BAC plus angle BDC. Now, BAC and BAC will cancel each other and we get angle PAC is equal to angle BDC. Now, in the first part, we have to prove the similarity of triangle PAC and triangle PDB. So, we can write in triangle PAC and triangle PDB angle PAC is equal to angle PDB. This we have already shown above. We have already shown that angle PAC is equal to angle BDC. Now, in these two triangles, this angle is common. So, we can write angle APC is equal to angle DPB. Now, by AA similarity criteria, triangle PAC is similar to triangle PDB. We know if two angles of one triangle are respectively equal to two angles of another triangle, then two triangles are similar. So, here clearly we can see two angles of this triangle are equal to two angles of this triangle. So, by AA criteria, triangle PAC is similar to triangle PDB. Now this completes the first part of the question. Now let us start with the second part. We know ratio of corresponding sides of two similar triangles are equal. So here these two triangles are similar. So we can say PA upon PD is equal to PC upon PB. Here PA upon PD is equal to 
PC upon PB. Now this implies PA multiplied by PB is equal to PC multiplied by PD. If we multiply both the sides of this expression by PD PB, then we get this expression. Now this completes the second part of the given question. So this completes the both the parts of the given question. Hence proved. This completes the session. Hope you understood the session. Take care and have a nice day.